Today I will be demonstrating safe sanding uh, on your on your bisque wear. Uh, one important thing when working in the, the the studio is for your safety. You want to minimize any creation of dust, and so you know if you sand something uh, dry, it creates a lot of fine dust that you definitely don't want to be breathing in um, because. Once the damage is done, it's pretty much permanent and it, it'll accumulate over time. So, you know, being a, 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 a potter and in, in, the, in this environment quite often, you know, I want to, um, you know, perform safe um, uh, practices. And so with sanding, you know, you want to get it wet. And so I've chosen a bin, a little tub here, you know, to give me enough room to put my piece in it, uh, completely submerge it and have a little working room and really and that's bisqueware yes bisqueware and really the only uh thing to consider is to have the sanding being completed completely submerged underwater so you know if i want to soften the foot or the rim basically i'll just submerge that portion under the water and perform my sanding um, and that's that's really all you need to do um, you know you're you're doing it wrong if you're outside of the water. Um, you know, if it's wet, that's good, but to be completely safe and minimize any, uh, you know, any additional risk, if you're completely submerged underwater, you know you're gonna be completely good. Um, all the dust is just gonna, you know, uh, dissolve in the water and, uh, and stay completely wet and out of the air. And it's as simple as that. So what kind of sanding tool are you using? See, this is a, I don't know how to pronounce it, a sign, X-I-E-M tool. Mm -hmm. It's made for wet sanding, it's coarse grit. It's flat, so um, I'm not completely aware of all the different options they have, but you know, something with a little more contour, I'd probably choose something with some foam, if it has the proper uh, grit on it, that, that'll help cushion and really uh, contour to your um, to your curves um, being flat, you know, you, have, you you gotta have a little bit of a different technique when sanding, but that's that's more of just um, end result of, of the sanding itself, but really the main concern with whatever tool you're using to sand, as long as you're completely submerged underwater, that's really the goal here. You never wanna do dry sanding. And uh, that's, that's as simple as that. Voila. <laughs>